there is a, a fundamental recommendation that's coming out of this is that it enhances the food systems approach and the diet approach to nutrition. That is, if we want to address all forms of malnutrition in the world, from hunger to undernutrition to overnutrition, obesity, we have to focus on food systems and we have to focus on diets. So it's not about one particular sector, production or processing or retail. It's about all of them plus interventions of the consumer. Another important um, element, uh, outcome of this is that we have to give a balanced approach in terms of supporting the production of healthy foods like fruits, vegetables and cereals. For a long time we have been concentrating on basic staples. This is good. A lot of people need better access to basic staples, but we should start also focusing on other foods. Uh, we should also focus on creating a food environment for the consumer, which is at the same time affordable, accessible, both economically and physically, that the consumers can find the healthy foods they actually need to eat for a healthy diet. If we want to take a comprehensive approach, we have to create the mechanisms, the governance mechanisms that are appropriate for managing a food system rather than one piece at a time. And then I have to emphasize that in all sessions, the role of women, important role of women in all parts of the food chain and also on the consumer side have been emphasized. First of all, we should keep nutrition alive as a fundamental development objective along with the SDGs for the next 10 years at least, with the objective to scale up, catalyze and support action to uh, improve nutrition through food systems. This is the basic idea behind the decade. So we have to bring the discussions on nutrition in high-level fora in high-level coalitions, in high-level government, um, uh, government uh, um, groupings, if you wish, in regional initiatives. These are uh, some of the fundamental things that we have to do to make sure that the nutrition contributes to impact. It's not only about supporting debate, it's about catalyzing action. The private sector is huge. It's millions of individuals, companies, organizations that compose what we call the private sector. It's not guaranteed that if left alone, they will produce the quantity and the quality of the diets that we need to eliminate all forms of malnutrition in the food system. So our objective is to see what would be a balance of policies, regulation, standards, nutritional guidelines, but at the same time consumer education that will make the private sector contribute substantially to these healthy diets and, and the, 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 uh, the nutrition, um, the better nutrition. We are, there is, there is, for some parts of the spectrum, there is suspicion for the private sector. Indeed, we all know the private sector is after increasing its profit, but it can always be challenged and channeled towards producing much better um, dietary outcomes for the consumers.